Arizona Congressman Rob Ron Barber knows the issue up close, very personal. His district is uh, near the border. Congressman Barber, good to see you. Good to be with you. Thanks for having me on. The details are still coming out about this, but as we understand it, the deal resolves uh, disagreements over wages for the new workers and which industries would be included for the guest worker program. What's your just initial reaction to this uh, piece of, of positive news? Well, I think the key is bipartisan agreement. There's a, the only way we're going to fix our broken immigration system is if both sides of the aisle and both chambers come together and find whatever that middle ground is, it sounds to me like we're moving in that direction. You're probably aware that there's also eight members of the House of Representatives, right. also a bipartisan group, working on a similar plan. I think the principles are essentially the same. The details may be different, and that's where I think we have to really take a hard look. What are the details? And once I see the details, I'll know better whether or not this really makes uh, good sense to go forward. I would say, however, this, that where I come from in, in southern Arizona, we still have a huge problem with securing the border and keeping people safe. And I want to be just, uh, sure that we do everything we can to continue our efforts to keep people safe along the border. I, I want to bring up a, a point that uh, was made earlier on this broadcast. One of our journalists pointed out uh, that I guess right now with regards to drones conducting more missions uh, over the border, uh, that there's been some pushback. Uh, because of, 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 of what that, how that might interfere with regular air travel. Can you speak to that at all? Is, is that new information to you? Really, no. I've been aware of that problem or that concern for some time. I'm, you know, I meet with the Border Patrol a lot, and I've certainly met with the people who run the drone program. But let me say this. We can have drones, we can have technology, but nothing beats moots on the ground. The agents that we need to patrol the border as close to the border as possible and I'm really concerned as we go into this sequestration, the budget cuts, that agents are going to be cut back in hours, furloughs and cutbacks in overtime. Overtime, unfortunately, has become routine because when you're in hot pursuit of uh, smugglers, you just don't clock out. You continue the pursuit until it's done. And the people that are in the Border Patrol that I represent and that are all across the border, they're going to receive a 40%, up to a 40% decrease in their salary at the very time we're trying to move uh, to fix the broken immigration system. That cutback, not only the harm it does to families yeah. is important, but also the harm it might do to our efforts to secure the border. Now, I want to switch gears really quickly here to gun, ref gun reform. Next month, Senator Majority Leader, Senator Majority Leader Harry Reid, he plans to bring a gun reform bill to the floor, which would expand background checks on gun purchases. Uh, it would curb illegal trafficking of firearms. Uh, but now five senators, uh, including floor Senator Marco Rubio, Texas Senator Ted Cruz among them, uh, they're threatening to filibuster this bill on the floor. Given your unique perspective as, as a victim of gun violence and a lawmaker, what's your take on the length of time that it's taken so far to see any sort of real gun reform even come out of Capitol Hill? And now the threat of the filibuster. Well, I'm, I didn't know about the filibuster threat until you just mentioned it. That is a disappointment for sure. I'm focused on four things. Improving mental health services, getting a universal background check with exceptions for family transactions, Thirdly, to make sure that we increase the penalties for gun trafficking, which is a huge problem in our state with our proximity to Mexico. And the last one, which is really very personal, and that is to try to reduce the size of the magazines. The guy that shot us discharged 33 bullets in 19.6 seconds. And 19 people were shot, six died. In the first four and a half seconds, he shot myself, Congresswoman Giffords, uh, uh, Judge Roll and my colleague Gabe Zimmerman. That kind of firepower really does not belong in civilian hands. I think we can do, uh, we can defend ourselves and our homes with much smaller magazines, but a killing weapon of 30 with 33 yeah. bullets in the magazine is really something that can only result in mass tragedies like we've seen or called across the country. But here's the thing, Congressman Barber, and, and you're echoing a sentiment a lot of folks have echoed that there should be some sort of reasonable restrictions uh, on the size of magazine clips, if nothing else. But but I think you, you're politically astute enough to know at this point it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It doesn't even look like there, there is the political will to make that happen. What, what, happened, uh, what happened to the momentum after Newtown for gun control advocates like yourself? Well, I'm not so much a gun control advocate. I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. I believe everyone should have the right to bear arms. I just really believe we can make some sensible, common sense changes in our law that make our schools and our communities safer. And that's what I'm focused on. And certainly you're right to say that 
you know, the gun magazine issue is probably the biggest lift for us. The gun assault uh, ban is not likely to happen politically. But I still think there's hope for the reduction of the magazine size. But I'm focused on, as I say, four things. And those four things, I believe, are essential steps in the right direction. Hopefully we can accomplish all, or if not all, most of them. Congressman Ron Barber from Arizona on Immigration and Guns Force on the Saturday afternoon. Congressman, it's always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Craig, very much. It's the